Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tuesdays in the Attic. We are on week 29. I've got leftovers from, um, or what's left of, I should say, of my Maggie Holmes Round Trip Scrap Room Kit. Um, you'll actually see me use it first next week, which is kind of fun. Um, so that's why, and I that, that's a two-page spread, by the way fun, fun sneak peek. Um, so that's why I had to do that one first. Cause I really wanted to use this collection for that page as well. Uh, but I have, um, some of the stickers from the sticker sheet. Um, I have some good ephemera bits. I have this frame of this paper that I plan on using. Oh, maybe I'll use this side. I wasn't sure what side I wanted to use. I've got um, this one left yet is Maggie Holmes. What does it say? It just says pattern paper. Ah, passage. I have this, almost this full sheet left. And then we have Wanderlust, which is this beautiful purple check and this beautiful floral. So that is what I have for you so far today. So we are going to... I've got all these little scraps for making my layout for next week. And I've already got my photos cut down. So this lovely grid, I love grids. I have not done one in a while and I can't understand why. Oh, and I have these two sticker sheets. So I'm pretty sure, I, well, I know one of the, I think this one's Jen Hadfield. This one might be Jen Hadfield. It's really hard to tell. The colors, this one's Jen Hadfield. Uh, I had this with this collection accidentally at first, and then I realized this actually went with it, but these look so Jen Halfill like that I wasn't really sure. But I'm putting them both in here because I think both of them go really well. But now that I see this more, um, the colors are definitely not, well, you know, it's still really hard to say. Uh, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is, um, travel themed and so this is from the Jen Hadfield or from the Maggie Holmes collection and this is from the Jen Hadfield but like I said I like a lot of the things in this one so I brought this sticker sheet into that was also from the scrap room um so lots of layers and it's an amazing grid and I love me some grid so we've got lots of good layers going on I think and I have Easter photos so what I've done so far let me just flip these um is I just so you can see them better I do have two four by fours and then I have one two by two, this um, collection, or this sketch calls for one, two, three, four, five two by twos. But instead of doing my other two two by two, I had photos that I could do two by four. So they would take up the same amount of space, but they're just bigger photos. So we've got those like so, which I really enjoy. Um, so we're gonna do that with them. I think I'm gonna mat them all on white really quick. Um, <clears throat> or I might even mat my two inch ones. Oh, they might not mat on here because I think this is the same size. Yeah. I was like, can I mat them on these little strips of pattern? No. Um, I think I'm going to mat all my photos in white really quick. So we'll do that. Uh, and then I kind of want to use this side. Um, so we'll see. I might use these for the squares that the two by two photos go on. And then I might, maybe I will mat those ones in blue. We'll see. But I'm going to play with this, with those photos. So now I just have to kind of figure out in my brain how it's going to work to do um, these other patterns <laughs> on my page. So I really want a little bit of this floral. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this down. And we're going to put a layer of the floral on top of here. And then I think, I think we'll do the yellow, but this needs to be framed in two colors. So I think I'm going to do white and this purple. So that is my plan. We'll see if we can make that work. And then I still have this beautiful stripe to play with. Um, I'll have a little bit. I won't have a ton. So yeah, that is the plan. Uh, just so you guys don't have to watch me struggle, I'm going to go ahead and start trimming papers down so it'll be it'll go blue floral um hmm. 
yeah, blue floral yellow with a white border and this purple border. And that's what we'll have. It'll take some finagling just because if I'm cutting this down. Yeah, it'll take some finagling, but I'm going to make it work because I don't necessarily want, unless I make this the border around the purple. See, this is all, this is, these are the things I have to think of. <clears throat> I'll figure out something. How about that? <laughs> I'll figure out something. I really like the yellow, but this stripe looks really good too. And if I did the purple on the stripe, that's the other thing I'm thinking of. Oh, because mm. this is going to be smaller. That's the problem. So if I got this, this is going to be smaller than this, more than likely, at least height wise. So I need it to actually be the smaller one. Otherwise, I'm and with the pattern. Otherwise, I'm going to have to strip and like, I'm going to have to jimmy rig a border. And with the pattern like that, that's going to be hard. Hard. So that's why I'm like, well, maybe, and I could still gut this and we could still use the yellow. I'm going to do a lot of gutting. So <laughs> I will be back. All right. I ended up doing the yellow and piecing together a frame for the purple. You can't tell that the patterns interrupted because what I didn't take into account, which I don't know why I didn't, my brain was already thinking about it for the other paper. When I gutted this, I did a two inch which made this inside part like even smaller. <laughs> so yes, I used the yellow as my main and then I pieced together. I just cut half inch strips and then pieced together a frame. You can't even tell that it's that there's gaps every once in a while you can, but when everything else is on there, you're not going to notice. And then I did a white border on all of that as well. So I really like, this is a fun. And then just to make sure it has sturdiness, I just took a piece of pink cardstock. Um, trimmed it down just a little bit so I didn't accidentally have it hanging off just to strengthen all the guttings that I had because <laughs> there were a lot of guttings. Um, so yeah, so that is what we got so far. So photos. So my um, inside is a little bit smaller and so I trimmed down this pattern because I really liked that. I wanted to bring some more floral in. Um, my inside's a little bit smaller. I don't have as much space between my little grids, but I really am, am enjoying this. And then this one's obviously flipped. There's two, there's technically two uh, photos here and a third photo here and then journaling spot here. I just flipped it so the journaling is on the inside because my photo, he's facing that way. So I didn't want to have it over there. But that, yeah, yeah, I love this. It looks really cute. Um, Uh, let's see. So I definitely want to my journaling doesn't have to say much so I might just stick this little yellow label there. I think I'm going to sprinkle some flowers around just because it's Easter, it's spring. I'll see what else I can find as well. I have a bunch of floral ephemera in here that I'll probably dig out but I need to figure out something for a title and what um what font to use. A wood grain would be really cool. But I have no A's. I have no T's either. It was like, ooh, city hunt, but what do I have for these ones? Oh, I have a T, I have a Y, I have an I, I have a C. Ooh, city. Do I have two T's? No. This dark green matches as well. I have a T there. H-U-N-T. Do I have an N? I do. Okay, so we're going to do City Hunt in this. So many things. So many things. Okay, good. Then I'll use up some of these alphas that I have that are just hanging out. All right, I'll get those glued down. Get City Hunt 
glued down or yeah I'll probably have to add glue and then we'll start some embellishing and then this page will come together really fast that's what I like about grids they actually come together really fast as soon as you get it figured out and then it's just all about embellishing and decorating and having fun um but yeah make sure this stuff's all straight it'll probably go on crooked let's be honest all right I'll be right back all right got those glued down I added egg in the gold tile letters and then I grabbed some of the word stickers and started adding some um, embellishments from the sticker sheets so I grabbed I liked these half circles so I did this pink yay and then I did so fun and I added two hearts there those are all stickers so they're stuck down they're sticking pretty good uh, this I want to put put some foam behind the wings yet um, I did a the half circle love here and I've got this bouquet that will stick there. Um, this is just an ephemera piece as well. I'm going to pop up the flowers. I did a you and me road trip. I did a little, um, what was it called? Yeah, the position markers or whatever. I did one because he's right there. He's tiny, so I wanted to make sure you saw him. And then I did happy day up there. But I like that there's enough color and pattern going on. I don't think I need too much more um, on this layout. Uh, just some I like the little sprinkles of some embellishments here and there and I have these tiny tiny foam squares that will and this butterfly is a sticker so it's gonna stick anyway but we're gonna add because I'm putting the wings up we're gonna add some glue there too just in case and I'll put that down I think I'm just gonna glue this flat I just wanted to use the bouquet and I thought it would work well with the picture of my son and I and it'll cover up the, the bus seat there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And otherwise I don't have this flower glued down at all. I think I'm gonna grab, just add a little bit of glue like under, let's see, under here. There we go, get that so that glues down. And then I'm just gonna do some foam squares underneath here. Not too many. Stick to the paper, not me, please. Thank you. All right. Well, there we go. I love all the color and fun on this page. There's there's a lot of it, that's for sure. I'm gonna add a little glue over here because when I lifted that up, I don't want my pages falling apart before I even put them in the book. So I'm just gonna add some white glue under here. There we go. Okay, there we go. That is my week 29 layout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you do have fun with this if you decide to play along ever. And we'll see you next time.